excited because right now I am waiting for my friend, Cami Smith, to show up. She's a stylist, you guys. We're having a real stylist come into my house. She's gonna go into my closet. We're gonna play dress up in there. She's basically going to take the inspiration of the June mood board and the idea of recreating the runway from things in my closet. So she's gonna take her perspective of my closet and then we're gonna dress looks up and I cannot wait. So hopefully she's on her way and she'll be here soon. everybody who you are what you do and a little bit of who you work with well I am a wardrobe stylist so it's a little bit different than a fashion stylist I don't really deal with high fashion or runway I kind of deal more with commercial and advertising styling so anything that you would see on a billboard or um, in-store signage like at a Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack basically I'm like putting together outfits with inventory or merchandise from these big retailers and then I'm trying to make them look cool or whatever the mood or the creative inspiration is for that so I'm usually working within a line within the guidelines of that brand who that brand is what they want to be who they aspire to be that kind of thing so I want to know first of all what are some of the favorite parts of being a stylist about your job that you love first of all I love making people feel good in their clothes like I love even if I'm working with a model or an actor and I put them in an outfit and they're like I never would wear that and I put it on them and it's tailored to them it fits them right the colors are their palette and they're looking in the mirror like, wow, I would have never chosen this, but I feel really good in it. And yeah. then they can give their best selves to the camera. That makes me like really love my job. Yeah. I also love, you know, how photo shoots are. It's a crew. It's a, like all these people working together and no one person is more important than the other. So I love that like family that we form. Because yes. usually I kind of work with a lot of the same people over yeah. and over again. It's just really fun to like grow as a family and work with your friends. And it's hard work. It's not just yeah. like fun, music, model, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Right. Like it is hard, but it's kind of... It's like this gratifying thing, like you all work really hard, you're sweating, you're, you know, you're tired, but then you see these beautiful images and you're like, okay, yeah, that makes sense, that like, we, yeah, we made that. So. Yeah, that's yeah. so fun. And then what about a highlight? from your I think career? My highlight was when I got to work with Garth Brooks for a Target commercial. So he oh came out with like gosh. a compil compilation CD thing yes. that sold at Target. And just like meeting him and being around him, I was working under a stylist at that time and that right. stylist needed to go back to uh, Nashville. She had another client and he was staying for the Ellen show and he asked me to stay and like, you know, help him. Help him with oh my gosh, that's so, so fun. Yeah, that was probably, I don't know, just keep being able to hug him and like seeing and like a childhood. And then I like strikes. <laughs> and oh, he's amazing. Oh, it grows cold. <laughs> oh, the wind just died. Sorry. I just got carried away with some 90s guard rugs. Yes, yes. So that's a good Total one. highlight. What's so much fun is that we are going to go into my closet. You are going to work your style. Which I've magic. always wanted to see, ah! actually. In real life. I've never seen it in real life, so I'm really excited. <laughs> and I'm just so excited to get your kind of perspective on my closet. I think it's so inspiring to see another stylist work yeah. and interpret things in a way that I never would. And then it gives me new ideas. I just feel like it's like a back and forth exchange. Yeah. So when you're approaching something like this, what would be like your jumping off place, what are you inspired by, kind of what gets you excited? I think definitely it all starts with like finding inspiration. So mm -hmm putting all of these thoughts onto paper or, you know, on a computer and like looking at it all together and kind of starting to figure out a theme mm -hmm. is really, really important to my work because I know when I walk in your closet, I'm going to be like, oh my God, there's so many textures, colors, prints, like you can really start to veer away from what you wanted to create. Right. So starting with that style board or mood board is really where I draw a lot of my inspiration. Once I start to see a theme, then I start to kind of research, like, and I draw things from like architecture, my travel, my culture, I'm Argentinian, so like things I've seen, you know, going back there, things that are, you know, happening in fashion, editorials, um, other stylists that I admire and love their work. And then ultimately it, just seeing the clothes and feeling the clothes mm -hmm. gives me inspiration because you, you can think of like this plan and like put things together and then you see the clothes and you feel them and you're like, no, this isn't going to work. Right. right. Yeah. Which we're ready. I mean, we've <laughs> got our June mood board. <gasps> so we've got our inspiration, which you took a look at yeah. and then you're going to kind of take your own direction within that and then we're going to let her create her styling <laughs> magic in my closet. I'm so excited. So I think we should go in my closet. Okay. Okay. Let's do it.
So, I'm bringing you out of my closet. <laughs> Finally. I've waited so long for this moment. Um, okay, so I feel like what I'd like to do is get what you're being inspired by, maybe okay. your inspiration based off my mood board, yeah. and then maybe I can kind of go around the room and show you. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll give you some key pieces that I'm yeah. looking for. Okay. Yes. And then um, we'll see where we can kind of okay. go from there. So after seeing your mood board, mixed prints, bright colors, summer, I pulled up this Christian Dior runway. Oh, yeah. Which is kind of this like elevated beach look with tie dye, oversized. I love um, it. And then I also was inspired by, let's see here, um, Hailey Bieber's spread in Vogue, yes. which is like lots of crochet and texture, mixed prints, kind of like Surfer Beach Girl, which, you know, like kind of California right. style. But I but... feel like it's more um, textures, prints, colors yes. this season, which I think is what we're all about. Yeah is that like yeah. party time mood way more bold than that traditional color that you might see Definitely. during the summer like you're making a statement yes i love it all right so based off that inspiration what yeah. do you feel like a few key pieces that i should pull out and then you can dive into okay. my closet in general but yeah just some i think anything with texture so like something crocheted okay and it would be even better if it had color in it okay. so not like a neutral tone i know the perfect piece do you guys know which one i'm thinking of and oh, oh, yes exactly okay the perfect and that is so like what the inspiration yes, was totally. which is like that beach girl but like colorful okay so that's and an item and let's say anything tie-dye a vest or a short crop shirt so i'm thinking that maybe on my june mood stylus rack that i created this could be an option yes a colorful tie-dye vest okay. so much fun which diy right here this is oh, an you... old Talbot's. I didn't do it. Somebody else, I think, did it. It's old Talbot's vest that somebody tie-dyed. That's, like, such Maybe. a great idea. Go to the thrift store, buy a white vest. Love. Tie-dye. Love. Okay. Love. That's okay. jumping off place. Um, Accessory-wise, do you have any cool bucket hats that you Oh, I know. If we're going tie-dye, okay. I have a perfect one. So, I have, I mean, I'll pull out some, like, bright color Ooh. hats that I have. But then I have this... <gasps> from Shop Boy Potions, this amazing tie-dye bucket hat. So that could be fun to play with. Also, now that I'm just like looking inspiration, yes, this could I be a fun, say, yeah. this is like a bagu bag. Anything else? Um, let's see, any Hawaiian inspired prints or? So I have a ton of those on that rack that we can pull out. And then I do have, I mean, I have a million, honestly, like. Oh, wow. I have like so many. Okay. This is yeah. vintage Cacharel, which is insane. Oh, yes. So much fun. Um, and then I used old to this. Jams World. <laughs> um, we've got. Ooh, I'm loving these. that one. Cute. Okay. Anything else that you think mm. that like to get you started? Yeah, I think. What's your best pair of like oversized denim? 90s. Oversized? Or any sort of like a 90s cut. Here's a bunch of my like. 501s and I have like a 551 which is more of a mom jean and then I have um I like that wash this is like straight up 501 like pretty you know Ew. wow and okay. then this one as well I love that wash so we've got okay. some okay. options well, and then I more. think we might need a great pair of sunglasses Ooh, like what which I know you have tons but anything like that is I don't know like color um, I have these. I actually don't have tons. Ooh, I love the white. The yeah, the white cute. are really fun. I have these green. I mean, they're not super bold. Um, and then I have, I mean, these are like more, like, kind of Ooh, retro -y. Any, like, 70s kind of. And then I have, like, these big guys. Okay, those can guys. Work um, Okay, so I feel like, do you good. feel like you have a good jumping Yeah, I feel like this jumping off. started, for sure. And then I'm going to let her jump into my closet and do all the fun style action. I love it.
and it looks like a beach vacation but like explosion of color it's the june mood on a beach vacation i'm kind of obsessed <laughs> oh my gosh i'm obsessed with this yeah. <gasps> Woo! all right so much fun uh, loving this like kind of where we're starting i feel like there's gonna be variation with the prints and you know the patterns and the color combinations like there's gonna be real bold and then we're gonna kind of go down the line i love all this texture right tie-dye print adding a denim in there okay so let's do something with this totally is the editorial that you that you pulled inspiration from yes. I love it so I think first I should start get some, some yeah. stuff on okay and then if you want to like judge me yes. at all yes, anymore yes, yes. so that. where do you want to start I think let's start here and then we'll kind of move into the more adventurous okay I love that I so love that. for the people that are kind of like I want to try it but this is great because all the tones are kind of similar yes so it's not as like striking but okay. it's still interesting yeah Okay, let's start with this. by the vest because it's like tie-dye but it's not what we're used to like what we've been seeing so I feel like I started there and I knew I wanted to have a bathing suit and I think because we had a lot going on it was great that you had the matching and a high yeah. waist and this um, is made well by the way it's so cute and it cute. fits really well so yeah just so you know super flattering but I also wanted to do kind of a a low rise, I know low rise is coming in. I'm fighting it too, but I feel like this is a way to do it where you're not so exposed. Right. Um, so having your high waisted kind of 90s denim and then folding it over the whole way through and kind of unbuttoning the top two buttons, it kind of gives it this relaxed, you're having that silhouette of the low rise, but you're also having kind of a relaxed look like you're literally going to the beach. And this is like the only way I could see myself wearing this. So actually this makes me want to do this more often, but I like it with the idea of like a, something. Having a little high waist. waist. Yeah. yeah, that's cute. And then I wanted something hanging down and we found this leather kind of belt thing and it didn't feel like it was complete without something dangling. So we added this earring. We literally just connected this, it. This is a little charm from Lulu Frost. So cute. It's really fun. And I feel like that kind of just adds that little extra touch. Yeah. And then you have this necklace that's actually a little bit longer and we just tied it up in the back and kind of made it a choker and then added this long uh, soda tab piece just to kind of give it a little bit of length. And, and then yeah. up here, I feel like you messed. Yeah. And so around. we kind of just, you know, messed up her hair. We did a couple little braids, which are so, you know, in season right now. They don't need to be finished, which is awesome. No. And I put like some texture paste in yeah. my hair so it, very textury mm -hmm. so I can feel like it holds And then I feel like I just kind of went through and like yeah. you literally just kind of push things up and it kind of I mean you have great hair so it works but just it kind of just beachy. looks like you've been at the beach all day and yeah. that is really you know the goal of it all and then some tevas which I feel like you can just do anything in yep I love like masculine looks so I feel like the jean with the teva just kind of like I don't know grounds yeah, it yeah grounds yeah. it makes it also really practical and yeah. wearable. <laughs> and then we just, we took one of your necklaces from, how long ago was that? I, this is literally one of my very first pieces I bought for myself in New Orleans when I was 21 years old, traveling across <laughs> the country. And I thought I was so 
cool with my <laughs> white prairie skirt on, my white corset, like Y2K top, and this necklace. I was very cool at 21 years old. Which I love the beading, and I loved how this yeah. kind of is dangling, so I just tied it up and then, you know, attached it. We layered it with another kind of wood beading. Yeah, wood. Mm -hmm. This fun gold yeah. piece. And then we threw on rose-colored sunglasses. It, it kind of gives you like this hippie, but you're not like in a costume, which, yeah, is, which totally. I think is really important when you're trying to like recreate inspiration. Is it that it feels obviously authentically you, but right. pushed, right? right? So not like you're wearing this costume, which these are, everything is yours, right. but you're kind of maybe doing these little extra things that where it makes it new and it kind of brings it up to the trends that are happening now. And I feel like this is so fun because, I mean, I go into my closet and style every day and if anything, sometimes multiple times a day, <laughs> but this all feels really fresh and new for me, which I love. And this is giving me so many new ideas. It feels very summery and cool. I imagine myself at like a beachside concert, like yeah. rolling up from the being on the sand, coming up, having like some drinks or dinner even yeah. up. up. Yeah, uh, from the beach during the day. I feel like day. it's really wearable. And then, I mean, obviously, if you wanted more right. coverage, you could do that. Right. You could also t uh, button it from the top, right? Yes, totally. So you have a lot of versatility with just having this little vest on. Yeah, and I feel like this is also a great idea of how to wear your bathing suit, but then make it an outfit. So, yeah. like, having a vest. You guys know I'm obsessed with vest <laughs> rates now. And just throwing some denim over it. Of course, denim shorts, too, yeah. if you want to do that. Or but, a skirt. If yeah, or a skirt. Denim. But I feel like this is such a good idea yeah. for layering up your bathing suits this summer and making yeah. it fun, making it party time. I definitely feel like this is, like, a party time look. Yes. But, like, cool <laughs> beachside version of it. It's so yeah. much fun. Also, I do feel like a cool camper. Too. Yes. Like yes. a super cool super camper. Chic camper. <laughs> yes. Camper chic right here. So I love it so much. And now I'm ready for look two. Let's do it. What are you thinking Somebody. for look two? Okay, so I think we're going to go here. Okay. What I'm envisioning is like good old American dad on vacation. I love like, it. I've been tourist, like that. Like yes. Like, you know. So I really like the fact of these two Hawaiian prints together. Adding some texture with this little knit top, another texture cord, yes. kind of maybe flipped up, these like 70s glasses, and then I really wanted, you have such fun earrings, and you have two holes, I wanted to do two double, but like have them be Ooh. different on each one. Oh, I love this. So yes. that could be really fun, and then I'm not sure if this is going to work, because it might be too matchy-matchy, but we'll, yeah. we'll see how We also goes. have a lime green one, did you see that? Oh, okay, yeah. And maybe. a gold one, if oh, you want to Okay, okay. okay, okay we got options. So we've decided that we're going to chop this. Yes. I feel like it's a little too long for your torso. Yes. So once and I'm finding I'm not wearing it because it's too long. So, so when you, I mean, it'll be better when it's not bulky, but right. look how much that changes. Yeah, totally. So if you go back to some of my old videos, there was a whole video called Chop It. You just <laughs> buy stuff and you just chop it. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to chop it. <laughs> from the same kind of genre like they're right. both kind of Hawaiian inspired prints and then I love these contrasting colors they, I just feel like they really go well um, and then the only thing that's really matching are like the shoes and the hat which kind of are like the end caps right like if you can match anything it's usually the top and bottom it kind of ties everything together um, we cut the shirt to kind of make it more crop add give a little bit of some texture here and then I'm really into these kind of mismatched earrings right now Totally um, new idea for me. I feel like I've done 
mismatch ones, but not for mismatch. So yeah. I love that. I think and that's it's so kind of like the seven up. It's kind of like the tourist coming in, like yes. you pick these up at the little like, you know, gift shop or whatever. And then I really like having this shirt off the shoulder and you know, you can kind of play with the different straps too. I think it's fun to have different straps going on. Like you have your bathing suit underneath. Yep. And then we kind of just, you could do a little roll if you want. Which I Casual. forget to do the short yeah. sleeve roll, but I actually yeah, like cute. it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it adds, I don't know, just one more little element to the outfit. And then we pulled out this vintage cuff, which I love because it kind of was almost the exact same replica, like here, this flower here. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost exactly. So, and then we just kind of layered it with another one. Yeah. And some blue nails to mix it all in. Oh my God. I just feel like it's so fun and playful. It is so fun and playful. And again, I just feel like this is like rejuvenating my brain because it's your perspective. <laughs> just waking me up to realize like there's so many more ways to wear the things in my closet. So I love this so much and I can totally see, I mean, I would wear this just on a standard day, but I feel yeah. like it's also like a fun, I mean, we are coming up on July 4th. Yeah, so I feel like it's like a barbecue. Yeah. It's going to like a little neighborhood parade. Totally. It's also like, if you are on a trip, I feel like this is such a fun little shopping outfit. Yes. Like a day going around getting so you're your comfy, lunch. You're comfy, you're cool, yeah. but like you also have this, like these layering elements. You could still do that in summer. Yeah. I think people think yes. layer and that's fall, winter, but you can add the bathing suit strap. Just even a little bathing suit strap like in the corner is uh, gives One it a more. little layer. Yeah. So. I love that. And of course, having a hat is always nice. Nice yeah. and keeping the sun yeah. out of your face. <laughs> we are ready for our last look. Yes. I'm so excited. What are you thinking? Okay, so we got to do this crochet because that was one yes. of our first inspirations. Yeah. So we're going to do that kind of oversized <gasps> hanging off of you. I'm loving this. Yeah. And then a bathing suit top again because it's summer and you just never know where you're going to end up. Your printed pants. And then this, I found this in your closet and yes. I was I'm just obsessed. And I haven't worn it yet, so I'm very so. excited to style it. And then just have a little bag. I love it. Sunshine in my pocket and I put it on a rocket Now it's flying all the way to you I put sunshine in my pocket and I put it on a rocket Now it's flying all the way to you We go We go summer vibe mixing the prints textures but if you want to be a little sexier a little like you're going on a date or even like a girl's night yes, right totally. so there's a lot of colors but I, the way we ground it is with the top the belt and the shoes are more of the neutrals in my eyes so we're kind of bringing it down in that way this texture on texture is something I love and is is difficult to do and that's why the neutral helps. Yeah. Especially with this wood in the middle, it kind of is like an even tone. And I feel like this is actually something for me that sparked new thoughts with this belt. Cause I would think that I would have to kind of stay in like Bohemian or all neutrals with yep. this and wear wood with all naturals. I wouldn't think to add yeah. it with bold pops of color like yeah. this, but it And you it can actually even see really that this green top yes. is kind of bringing out the sagey here, yes. which if you just find these little things that bring things together. Yes, totally. The sage um, green there. That's how you know like it's like safe, like you're It's going to work. Yeah. And then we kind of gave you a little pearl rainbow necklace from Etsy which was great. Then we did just do two different ones on one ear. Which and I'm I obsessed love. with this. Okay, look at this, guys. These two. And then this one. And then kind of the longer one behind, yes. which is a new idea for me as yeah. well. I love that. And that's how I usually stack earrings if you have like three or four piercings. I usually I usually do longest to shortest, but sometimes if things are in the same kind of silhouette shape, yeah. and shape, you can kind of play around with it. So. I love that. And then we have just a little braid in front, which I think, you know, that's kind of our theme is the braids. Mm -hmm. um, and then this crochet piece is amazing. I think on with the really long sleeves is so fun and flirty. I don't know, it just for me it works. I don't know. It totally works. I love it. It's always my dress up to the max. Yes. 
and this little beaded bag you threw on. Yep. Which is really fun. And it totally does feel like, yeah, just like a dinner date. Or yeah, and even if you, like, say you went out da dancing after, I think you could almost even, like, hook this on here. Oh my gosh, like, loop it yeah, through. Yeah, loop it through. Such it's a great here. idea. So it could be kind of fun like that, too, if you wanted to be hands-free, but super so cute. Fun. Cammy, Cammy, <laughs> this is amazing. We said we were doing the last look last time, but we decided we for an encore, 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 we're having too much fun. Okay, what are you thinking? So I felt like we had to give some like people a skirt option, yes. like something vacation-y. Um, so we're gonna do this little scrunch too, which is so cute. The checkered bag, this is kind of pulling from our inspiration. Yes, love that. Um, a high-waisted bottom and then, oh! And then this is this like- Kind of like, through shirt skirt. Yeah. I can't wait. like a western surf look if that even exists yes. but I feel like it does okay you know, yeah we're working at a thing exist. yeah and I just love this I think you probably most likely wear it like this but we folded down the yes. waistband to kind of show off the high-waisted swim which I just think is a different kind of take on the skirt and originally we just had it with this little ruche kind of bandeau but I felt like it needed something so then we just layered this you know retro um, kind of Hawaiian inspired silk Shirt that's very oversized, which yes, I love an oversized love thing. Yes. And then you guys look at this little braid, and we kind of added some fun earrings into the braid. Super easy to do, especially if you have these little hoops. So we added some little ponytails. Mm -hmm. Clear plastic. Clear, yeah. yeah. And then you can kind of hook the earrings into it. And Genius. Kind of like Genius a messy idea braid. right here. We loved this earring from the last look, but added just a different pearl there. And a little Hawaiian trucker. Yep. And then. You gotta talk about yeah. the final like western panache. We were gonna do one. a sandal, but then I just felt like the skirt, the browns on the shirt, it just kind of went. It needed a grounding moment there, and I think the boot is just super fun. Obviously, western is super in right now. Yep. Um, western is really part of my wardrobe, so I always kind of pull from that inspiration. So love it. And then so the checkered much. bag that is actually from our inspiration. Yes. That had that print so we kind of and I feel like there. you can see the connecting factors you know I mean it, it is a mix of everything which I love but you can find like the greens connected yep. here and then the even browns. some of the browns connected in the western and the silhouette and, of the skirt yes. goes with the western yep and then this is just like that tote bag but I kind of just knotted it up which is a fun way to do that and then you just have a little keyhole for your fingers and okay yay so fun I just had the best time we were actually just saying I think this was so fun because I feel like it almost took me out of myself in a good way and like shook it up a little bit because it just, I don't know, you brought like a new life Aww. to my closet and it just like, I don't know, this is so much fun. It was so inspiring, Yummy. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me come and do this. I've always wanted to look at your closet and play with it. I feel like we have so much more to do. Oh my gosh, we could have just kept going. What would you say, I don't know, if you had any tips on approaching a closet in that kind of creative way that we did today would you have any like little styling tips or nuggets to yeah, share i think like honestly like inspiration is great that's where i always start but i think also you can let that kind of put you in this box and you just like okay i'm replicating right like let yourself just try things like yes. i didn't know that this was going to look cool but right. i just kind of was like oh i love these little charms like i want to incorporate them somehow yeah and i think too playing with proportions like usually you wouldn't put a full skirt with an oversized shirt because you right. want to accentuate something but because right. it's open we can still kind of see your your shape right? right so playing with proportions playing with color and letting yourself just explore nothing's wrong mm -hmm. right like yes. you can't mess up you'll look in the mirror and be like oh, I don't know if I like it or I need a different shoe or whatever so yeah. I think allowing yourself to explore I think 
just as humans we're like put so like it has to look like this or whatever yes. so I think when you can explore and let go a little bit you kind of like stumble upon like a great you know mistake or whatever you know I love that and I feel like because sometimes I'll do that I've gotten stuck in like this certain way of styling something or thinking a certain way and then I almost it's weird but I almost kind of go in my closet and I I take on this like effortless like just like grab stuff yeah. you know just like kind of run around the room and like I don't know I'm not even like thinking yeah. about does this go does this connect but just like there's this kind of almost nonchalant yeah this to effortless. it yeah, yeah effortless of just like pulling pieces and then yeah and then you kind of judge and play yeah. and you connect it all yeah and like don't be afraid to fold things down right, and unbutton that. stuff roll things because you can give things that you've had forever kind of a new a new life, life with yeah. just a little styling tricks yep. or like if you have a really big oversized pair of pants and tightening them in the back or you know just like little or like things. today chopping a shirt, shirt that wasn't yeah. working because i wasn't wearing it and just <laughs> chopping it off and making it work some some way that i actually will wear it yeah yeah and then i think once you let yourself play and let yourself explore then you'll look in the mirror and be like oh the browns go with this yeah. and the greens go with this you'll find things that kind of have a common ground and then you'll be like okay this works like yes. it, it should just kind of click and everyone so. just this summer needs to do this because this is just like the most fun thing ever so just buy yourself some charms throw in a little braid and you need to do this yes. it's so much fun oh thank you so thank much you for having Yummy. me and thank you guys all for tuning in we really just had the best time and this was the epitome of playing dress up because yeah. it was like random sporadic yeah. Just coming in, just playing around and having so much fun doing it. So thank you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I am going to link Cammie's Instagram yeah, down below. Follow give me. me questions you want to ask her, send her DMs. Yeah, totally. I'm so down to be like, hey, if you're looking to style or to assist or whatever, reach out to me and we can DM and, you know, go from there. Yeah, she also teaches uh, styling yes at uh, college locally yeah. so she's a great asset and resource to hit up and then finally <laughs> always, always play dress up, dress up. Bye. Bye.